Hello Truth Seekers and welcome back to our channel where we will unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're diving into the ongoing saga of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry and this time it's taken a rather explosive turn. Biographer Angela Levin, who penned a tell-all book about Prince Harry, has not minced her words when it comes to Meghan Markle. But before we move on to any further details, I would love to thank you all for your enormous love and support, and in case you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. Perfect. So, let's get started. So, in a recent interview with Sky News, Levin didn't hold back, calling Meghan a nobody who's, quote, hanging on to Prince Harry's tails. Now that's a statement that's sure to send shockwaves through the world. But let's break it down. Levin's fury was sparked by the news that Meghan would join Prince Harry at the opening of the 2023 Invictus Games in Germany. You might think, what's the problem with that? Well, according to Levin, Meghan doesn't belong at this event, which is a project Harry is genuinely proud of. Levin feels that Meghan should have stepped back and allowed Harry to take the spotlight at the upcoming Invictus Games alone. Instead, she's coming along and planning to speak to the 500 participants about courage and resilience. Now, that's where Levin drops the bomb. She says it's ironic and almost comical if it weren't so tragic because, in her own words, she's not courageous and she's got no resilience. Levin concludes that Meghan's participation is all part of her grand design and that she's making things difficult, and she's clinging onto Harry's coattails just to have a title. It's a scathing criticism that doesn't hold back. But Levin didn't stop there. She also takes aim at Prince Harry. She feels that he's been acting like a, quote, servant towards Meghan, and that's a strong word to use when describing a prince. Levin thinks Meghan still plays into a victim image, and that the Invictus Games, where she'll be speaking to wounded soldiers, is a good fit for her. Now, here's where things get interesting. For the past year, Meghan has distanced herself from several key events in Prince Harry's life, according to Levin. When he needed her support during book promotions, court appearances, or even the coronation, she was nowhere to be seen. But suddenly, she's willing to be by his side for the Invictus Games, and Levin isn't buying it. The 2023 Invictus Games are indeed a significant event, bringing together wounded service members from around the world to compete and share their stories of resilience. But Levin's assertion that Meghan's presence will make it phony beyond phony adds another layer to this ongoing saga. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments below and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.